Hi guys, welcome back to my channel, it's G from Happiness and Crafting. So today I am going to try and colour some fabric with some grapes. Now I've got some cheesecloth, well this is sort of like gauze, cheesecloth and seam binding. Now I have these grapes which are off um, a little grapevine which was my mum's grapevine and it's in a pot so it doesn't grow very big grapes. Uh, last year it didn't fruit actually so this year it's produced these beautiful little grapes. Now they're not really edible um, so they're little tiny aren't they just the cutest? Um, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to boil them up and try and colour some fabric. So let's see how that goes. Now you're supposed to have sort of like alum which you add in with, with your um, natural dyes um, to sort of like keep the colour in but I don't have any, I'm not going to buy any. So, But you can use vinegar so I'm going to try vinegar. So you do four parts um, water to one part vinegar which I did read um, and then you soak your um, fabric in some salt water afterwards so that's what I'm going to go do today give it a go so if you have any sort of like bits of fruit if you have a garden and you're lucky enough to have like bits of um, fruit or anything or even leftover fruit I'm sure you could probably do it with that um, anything that's going a bit manky you could use but I'm going to try it anyway um, I'm going to take you along with me so we can see how it goes you might get some pictures going through it or a little video but I'm going to show you um, how try and do it step by step how I go along so I will be back I'm going to pop this on the stove I'm going to boil it for an hour with some vinegar um, and see what it's like um, so it might turn out or it might not but I will give it a go anyway because I don't want them to go to waste I don't want them to sort of like throw them away or let them rot or whatever um, I want to try and put them to some good use so let's see okay guys we'll be back two seconds okay guys so I have just shown you a couple of steps just a couple of pictures of um it's boiling on the stove so that wasn't very exciting but that was a little step so you could see it concentrating you can see it getting darker and darker which is fab now this is what I've ended up with and look at that the color of that is amazing this is the gooby bits that I've just squished out so the first thing I thought I might do is sort of like wrap this in some a um, little bit of cheesecloth now I've cut a section of cheesecloth off here and what I thought I was going to do, I'm just going to put that in there and add that. And I'm going to sort of scrunch this up just so I can get as much out of this as I can. Because there's still lots and lots of liquid in there. But actually I could probably squeeze that into there, couldn't I? Like that, squeeze that down. So look, we've got a lot. And I'm going to just leave that in there, I think. Can you see? So that we can get nice... Um, nice bit of colour from that let's just squeeze the rest of that through there how lovely so I'm going to leave that and then we can see how that gets on let's wipe up all that nice juice look at the colour is absolutely amazing so what I'm going to do now I'm going to take my bits of cheesecloth and just pop it in here now I'm going to leave these in here for a little while um, a nice bit of seam binding there. Now normally I wet them um, before I put them in but this is still quite warm so that's quite nice in there so I'm just going to just scrunch that in there. I'm going to leave that in there for a good half an hour to an hour. Look at the colour. <gasps> just amazing isn't it? So let's just see. I'm going to leave that in there and then I will soak it in a little bit of salty water won't rinse it off hoping it's not going to lose all the color we shall see how it goes like that um, and then I will be back to show you I will um, I won't dry it I will just take it out so I'm going to leave that for a good half an hour to an hour and then I will be back and then we'll see what we have left over so that's the two I'll leave that in there like that so won't be long okay guys so I have just been reading that if you add a little bit of bicarbonate of soda this should turn a blue now I'm doing a little bit of experimenting today so this has been in, in if I can speak in here for about 
um, about half an hour. So I've got another jug, one of my old jugs. Oh, look at that. Oh my God. That's fabulous. Right, I'm just going to squeeze these out because I want to use a little bit of this liquid. That hasn't come out as dark as I thought it would. But it's a beautiful colour. So let me just squeeze that. And that is the seam binding. Wow. That is amazing, isn't it? Look at that. Beautiful colour. Absolutely gorgeous. Right. Just going to pop that in there. Let me just take... Shall I take a little snippet of this off? And just see if this is going to work. Let me just... Let me just cut this off. I've got lots of this left, so I can um, colour some more anyway. But what I'm going to do, I'm going to pop it in this jug here. Just a tiny bit. Okay, so that's purple. Now, apparently, if you add a little bit of bicarbonate of soda, it's supposed to go blue. Oh my God, it does. <gasps> Look at that. Oh, it's like magic. Oh, maybe that's a little bit too much. Oh, I'm not going to put that bit in. I'm going to put a fresh bit in. Hang on two seconds. Okay, so I have just chopped it off at a piece here. It's a bit sort of like scraggy, but I just want to try this. Now, what I'm going to do, I'm going to actually wet this first. Just to, I think it's a little bit easier. Soaks it up a bit better if it's wet. Scrunch that up. Oh my god, look at that. It's gone like a grey blue. Wow. Just scrunch that up. Look at that. Oh, I love it. Oh, a nice little science lesson for us today. Let me just dip a tiny bit more of this in and see if it will change a colour. Oh my god, this is fab now I will probably soak this in salt water in a minute as well I'll leave that look at that oh my god that's crazy just wipe my hands look at the difference that's just using normal just vinegar water and the color and that is adding a bit of bicarbonate soda in there wow that is amazing that is absolutely amazing. You can get blue from grapes like that. I love it. Oh my gosh. Now I can feel the bicarb in there. It's a bit bitty. So I'm going to leave that in there like that. And I think, look at that. It says where I've been wiping my hands. And it's fab. I'm going to leave that in there. Look at that. That's really nice. I'm going to try and colour some paper with this as well. So it's a nice bit of an experimental one today, isn't it? But look how lovely that is. Now what I'm going to do, I'm going to... I've got blue on there. Look where the powder's gone on there. It's changed it to blue. Let me put this in here. See if it changes a different colour blue. Oh look, that's gone a lot, lot darker. Oh my gosh, you can get so many different colours on here. Look at that. Okay, right, I am going to wash some of this before I make too much mess. I'm going to just rinse this. I'm going to leave this one in here for a bit and then I'm going to rinse it in some salted water. And I'm going to rinse these in salted water. Look, I've got all blue on there. I'm going to pop this back in here actually because I've got blue bits because I've got bicarb in there it might go don't do it all together because you're going to end up with pinky blues in all sorts but then again that's quite nice isn't it love it look at this let's see how this has turned out so this will be washed off as well look at that just fabulous now i'm going to just take a little bit of this let me just experiment again i'm going to take a section of this 
look you can see the blue I just wanted to sprinkle a little bit of bicarb on there and see if it will give you little blue bits on it let's just pop this down you can see where the bicarb has actually gone on there just have a little sprinkle and I'm going to spray a little bit of water on there as well look at that okay sorry I just had to change my battery but you can see being left on there has um, changed that to a really lovely lovely colour look at that that's really funky isn't it love that so I'm going to just leave that like that because I'm going to just actually I'm going to leave that separately because I don't want the the bicarb on here I'm going to wash all these off look at this fantastic and then I'm going to colour a little bit of paper so I'm going to wash these off and pop them out into the garden while they're drying I will take you out there and we will colour a little bit of paper to see if it will go um a nice purple or pink or something so there we go guys I will be back we will see you in the garden okay guys so I am out in my garden I do apologize if the sound is a bit off um, but as you can see I have got the lovely fabrics that came out and it's come out really purple now this is the rest of the grape um, juice in there so I'm gonna add a little bit of the paper just to see if we get like a little even if it's like a little pink tint to it I think it will be a beautiful so let's just pop it on the lawn and see what we get so just the same way as I'm doing the um, tea stain paper this is just mix it around pop it in and then just pop the paper on the lawn now I'm not quite sure whether we're going to get a good colour on there but we will see but this is unbelievable this is just beautiful I am loving the colour this has come out so I will be upstairs in a minute I will let this dry I will do a couple more sheets of paper just to see how it turns out um, but it would be quite nice if we got a little pinky bit um, of tint on there wouldn't it so let's see so I will see you upstairs in two seconds okay guys so I'm in from the garden you could hear all the dogs and the seagulls and everything so I hope you could hear me um, it was quite noisy out there today um, loving absolutely loving how all this has come out and I cannot believe the absolute color of this it is so dark look at this beautiful absolutely gorgeous now again these are some bits that we popped in so let's go through this this piece is the one that I wrapped up the leftover um, bits of grape that I'd actually squeezed out already that was lovely look at that perfect um, this was the actual grape like that this is the one where I and this is with vinegar to, to seal it in um, and I rinsed it all off in some salt water as well to sort of like keep the um, color in um, not that I'm going to wash any of this anyway because it's going to be on junk journals and em embellishments so I don't generally wash those anyway this color and this one here these blues these beautiful blues well it's like a bluey green isn't it um, I added the bicarbonate of soda to it and it turned it that color which I cannot believe look at the difference so it is absolutely amazing and this is the one where I just sprinkled on the bicarb on top of the wet and look at that it's absolutely fab I can't believe it this one look at this I wish I did some seam binding in this color as well but never mind because those two look at those two colors are beautiful I only dipped a tiny bit in but I'm sure I can make a little embellishment with that one this one um, that's a little bit of cheesecloth I popped in there but this one didn't come out as good I'm loving the color I do love the color but it's I should have washed it first um, it was straight sort of like out the packet really so I should have washed it and I think it would probably have taken it a bit darker but I think they are just beautiful so loving it now the paper look at that absolutely stunning now this has come out blue now I thought it might come out pink 
or purple but it's actually come out blue and you've got sort of like hints of green in there as well so look at this it is just lovely now I'm going to have to find myself a nice project to use these aren't I so I've got 18 sheets of that I managed to get out and then I have only got six sheets of this one now this was the leftover little bit of the blue um, where we added the bicarbon so this is sort of like it's a it's a lovely colour it's sort of like a brownie greeny blue so it looks different in different light actually so you've got sort of that brown bits here but it's sort of like a a greeny blue colour but I'm just loving it I absolutely love it and this is the piece of tissue that I was wiping my hands with and that's come out green so unbelievable so had a nice day here this has taken me all day to do because obviously making it um, and drying it and everything but I've had such a fun time so I'm hoping that you will give it a go um, so this is just with the lovely grapes from my mum's grapevine so I'm going to have to make a special little journal with this I think um, so I'm loving it so I hope you do too guys um, I'm going to find out what other things I can dye stuff with because I think you can do turmeric as well and um, so I might give that a go um, and see but I thought I was having a little experiment for a Monday morning today um, and I'm loving it so there we go guys thank you so so much for joining me um, please stay safe take care and I will see you soon all right guys bye bye